Douche! Welcome back to the channel, guys and gals. Corset 2020. What gorgeousness are you going to bring us today? Let's take a gander. Also, shout out. That is the dullest uh, scissors I've ever had in my life. Shout out to Eric Fuhrman, John Higby, William Carter, Adam Lovely, Tim Petit. I think I'm saying that right. Is it Petit or Petit? You let me know. Hunter Gardebrecht, Brian Kuhn, Cruiser, James Bailey, James Nimigine, and Adam Storm. That is just uh, a few of the patrons who make this channel possible. Without them, um, I, I could not be doing what I'm doing. So thank you very much. And anyone interested in becoming a patron, there's a link in the description of every single video where you can find out more information on that. Let's get the ball rolling. Disfigure. Great card. It's actually seeing a bit more play. It, uh, and Noxious Grasp. Definitely a sideboard queen and king. Dungeon Geist. I don't think there was too much that actually happened with this card. Just uh, not, not, not really. Cool art, but other than that, that's about it. That is about it. That, 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 that's it. There's nothing more to say on that, guys. There's really just nothing more to say. All right, we got Portal of Sanctuary. Haven't really seen this in any play or action. Grave Digger, it is what it is. Gauntlets of Light, haven't seen a lot of that. Temple of Triumph. Yes, the temples. We're going to be seeing a lot of action because there are going to be some cards getting rotated out from Dominaria, some lands. So the temples, you're going to see quite a bit more of right around the bend. Ooh, we got a Chandra. Oosh, Novice Pyromancer. Welcome, gorgeous. Rise and Reef doesn't see any play. Now that it's Field of the Dead, just really not, not, this is just, you know, just, they're just not two good cards. Probably the worst cards right now in Standard are these two right here. Just, just not good. Change my mind, guys. Change my mind. They're just not that great. All right, moving forward. Aerial Assault, good stuff. And uh, Pulse of Morassa. Oh, another one of these cards that are just not good. Mm. Steel Overseer. Now this card, let me tell you. Coming uh, the next, uh, after rotation, artifact decks are going to be crazy. And this card, this card needs a partner. That's what this card really needs for this kind of deck to take off. Right now, it's just not there. I tried building the deck in standard on Arena. Yeah, but it's hit or miss, because if I don't get this card, the deck just falls to crap. So, really, you need something else that's out there, you know, to really help Steel Overseer. If we get it, uh, this, I'm telling you, Artifacts are going to be a top deck. That's all I'm saying, baby. They're going to be a top deck. Whoa, not one foil yet. I thought they increased the odds of foils. I guess not. I guess not. All right, a Warden of Irofrohum. Thunder Kin Awakener. Not a bad card. I have used it before, but uh, it's just not there either. I mean, not at least not in the competitive scene. Wow. Five packs in. This is the first time that's ever happened. Five packs in on a box of uh, M20 and that one foil. Something, something's weird. Oh, we finally got one. I, I can sense it. Leyline of Abundance. Pretty cool card. And Audacious Thief is our foilage. Audacious Thief. Whenever Audacious Thief attacks you draw a card and you lose one life that's not bad but it is on a two body so that thing is likely to just get destroyed you know right away graph digger's cage pretty legit that is a good card glad it got a reprint and i'm glad they're doing full art element or full art tokens uh, in this set i told you guys i love the tokens from this set probably the best they've done in a while blood for bones a fun little card to use and abuse and we got tails and mm. This card is not seeing a lot of play, believe it or not. Uh, Fire Elemental. It might be seeing play outside of Standard or something, but I don't know. I have not been seeing a lot of uh, play with that card. Maybe in uh, Commander, I guess. Wouldn't that be uh, decent? Maybe? No? I don't, I, don't, I don't know where that card's seeing play. I thought it would be better than it is, but it's just, I don't know. All the, mo all the aggro builds right now in Standard going around are really crazy. Like with this card, busted stuff, man. Uh, repeated reverberation. All right. It's more like repeated bulk we're drawing right now. This is not good. No, that steel overseal is good. Overseer is going to go up in price for sure. Um, it, it's just, it is what it is. It does see play in modern and all that. Uh, we do got the Dragon, Hauler, Drake, and Shared Summons. More like Terrible Box. Sharing Terrible Box. We got two foils so far. All right. All right. Come on. Two foils. Step it up. Let's go. 
Eternal Isolation, some of this. And a uh, dude that has just um, had a good time. Um, ladies, watch out for this guy. Uh, he's, uh, he's not a keeper. That's all I'm saying. I'll keep you bleeding. All right, moving on. Moving on. Moving on. That was terrible. All right. All right. We have good times here. Good times, good oldies. All right. Loyal Pegasus and a Johnny Strength of the Pride. Thank you for showing up, Johnny. Um, you have disappointed many people, um, I must say. Hopefully, you can find your home. Life gain decks just don't seem to be doing it, man. They really just are not doing it. I'm sure we'd all like to see a really nasty life gain build, but it's just not happening. And you'd think a Johnny's going to like lead the way for that. Can you stop moving cards? Oh, but we pulled the best card in the game. Bada bing. Hooray. All right, let's actually make a mythic pile for once. For once in my life. There we go. We'll put it way in the corner so no one can see it. Wonderful. Wonderful stuff. Uh, Fry, great sideboard action there. Cards, stop moving. Oh, back to back. Uh, mythics, yes. Kaikar's Winds of Fury. Someone just used this in a... Uh, uh, on the arena against me, and they actually beat me using this card. Pretty neat. Um, Mahals of Marasa. Foilage. So the foil cards are starting to finally show. Evolving Wilds, best card ever printed. And we have our Mythic Pile, Joey Boss. There you go. Can't forget about that. Grave Digor. Pulse Bark. Flood of Tears. That's right. And Undead Servant. All right. Swampy. The odds of pulling a Mythic Foil have been greatly decreased. Um, from course at uh, 2020 to the sets previous, um, I think it's someone said the odds are like one. Well, that's a cool card. I should make a deck around Blood Soaked Altar. Regasaur, got to see that deck build. Really, really fun with the, with the thud and all that. Um, what was it? One in like every case. Like it was like like 1.2 something like that. So, like, you wouldn't hit, you're not guaranteed a case hit every single time. That's terrible. They should never have done that. Shifting Ceratops is a great card. Seeing a lot of sideboard, because, man, the second you're, actually mainboard, too, but the second you know your opponent's running blue, if you're in best of three, sideboard that sucker in. You guys know I like best of one. I think it's just more fun to show a deck instead of, like, seeing the same matchup again and again and again, you know? Uh, yeah, Asian Treachery, these, these decks are actually doing something out there. Uh, they're pretty dirty. They are pretty dirty. If you can get that card out, um, I have lost all my creatures to that card. And the person just keeps drawing more cards. It's pretty ridiculous. Lightning Stormkin, all up in it. And the Adraquas of Maw of Flames. Brutal card as well. Fun meme card, I'll say that. Dra Dracusis? Dracusis. All right. Dracusis. We got Uncaged Fury. And the Temple of Silence. Yes, these temples are going to go up in price a little bit. Oh, Chandra's Awakened Inferno. Hooray, we got that. Once uh, rotation hits, uh, I expect all the temples to go up probably like a dollar, like almost overnight. Maybe not overnight, but, you know, they'll take up, whatever. Captivating Gyre. There you go. And Safari Sky's Blade. All right, we did pull quite a few of those. And Lightning Stormkin. Flying in the haste. Not bad. Not bad at all. Evolving Wilds, cool. And a Spirit. There you go. Is there a lot of flying in red? I don't think there is. I think red's mostly ground control, right? How many cards are flying around? Anyone use Colossal yet? The Colossus Hammer? Chandra's Regulator? With the Mountain? Colossus Hammer. I want to play that card. It's funny it loses flying, though. They're like, we can't make it that busted. Herald of the Sun, this figure, and Yark the Desecrated, solid mythic box so far. I mean, we got Kaikar, a Johnny, and now a Yorok. Not bad at all, man. Not bad. I'd like to see some rare foils. We haven't seen one rare foil yet. If this is the crazy mythic box, that would be nuts. This box I got online about a month ago and never opened it, so there you have it. What was it a month ago? It was pre-order. So whatever. Pre-order, good deal. It was like 86 bucks, 87 shipped. Some, or was it 88? I don't remember. Something like that. Drawn from Dreams. Okay. That card is seeing some play, though. Look at the top seven cards of your library. Put two of them into your hand and the rest on the bottom of your library in a random order. That is a pretty good card. Scholar of Ages, Flame Sleep, Goblin, Gargos, Vicious Watcher. There you have it, man. 
Fun card. Fun card. I'd like to see someone make a nasty Hydra deck. I really, really would. I would love to see Hydras come a long way here. All right, I would. Uh, God's Willing, great. And Embodiment of Agonies. I saw that Scuzzlebutt. Who saw that? Soren, show up, buddy. With your $20 price tag. I think Soren's like 20, isn't he? Or at least at least 18. I'm sure he jumps around a little bit. He's like a bobble. Air Elemental. Wolf Devout. Leyline of the Void. Ooh, that is definitely worth the old bell ringer. Ah, oh, yeah. Uh, great card. Got the reprint. And, uh, yeah, it's uh, slowly ticking back up in price. For sure. Once it, like, hits its low, it just starts going back up, man. It's that simple. And we got our Thrashing Bronodon, which was reprinted recently, too, in this set. Loxodon Life Chanter. Not saying this thing do anything right now. Not to say it won't or can't, but it is not. I think the sixth casting cost was just too much. It's just a goofy card. It's just, just goofy ball crap, you know. Loyal Pegasus. And it's, it's, a, it's a shame because they did the, the last Loxodon really good um, in the last um, set, yeah. Icon of Ancestry, great card for them. Tribal builds, and we got Steadfast Sentry as our foil. Seven packs, guys. Seven packs to crack. Come on, seven packs to crack. And his last pack, Moss back. We don't know. Unchained Berserker. Bag of Holding. Everyone wants me to make a deck around this. Actually, I did, but the deck stunk, so you didn't see a video of it. Foil and Negate, always welcome in the house. Absolutely breathtaking foils on Foil and Negate. Just because of all the colors they use there. The pinks, the blues, the yellows. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, man. Oh, yeah. All right, let's see what we got. Meteor Golem, legit. And, oh, baby, get some of that sexy, sweet-ass Muyan Ling Skydancer. Thank you for gracing us with your gorgeous presence. Still want to make a deck around you. I probably will. Slap it on Arena. Have some fun. Kick some people's butts. Gorgeous card. Great, great mythic. There we go. I do expect Muyan Ling, if it's not going up in price, to go up in price. Uh, especially when uh, the format swings around. We shall see. Lightning Stormkin. And Starfield Mystic. This card will definitely go up in price when uh, yeah, the meta changes. Oh, Leyline of Abundance. Leyline of Abundance. Foil. Not bad. Wish it was void. Wish it was void, but we'll take it. We will take it. Did I throw another mythic in here? No? That that should have been a mythic. It could have been. It could have been a mythic. I just want to make sure. There's a little quick recap for anyone on fast forward to this exact moment in this video. Alright. Soren, here we come. If we get a Soren, this is like easily like over a hundred dollar box. Easily. If we get a Soren. Cereal sauce. Angel of Vitality. Yes. And Temple of Melody. That's right. And Mordor's Axe. Foilage. I want to see two foils in one pack. Don't ever say that again, Pokemon Joey. All right, I won't ever say that again. Daybreak's Champlain. We got Vampire of the Dire Moon. Creeper. Manifold. Night Pack Ambusher. Legit. God's Willing. Foil. Nice card to have. Sees a heck ton of play. Foiling even better. I love that Muyan Ring. Muyan Ling is so good. We got a Chandra. She just slipped right out. Eternal. Yorick Golos. Tireless Pilgrim. That is seeing some play, believe it or not. Some Golos builds. Weird. All right. Chandra's down to like 22 bucks, As predicted. Remember I was saying, I'm like, I don't know how the heck this thing's at $35. It's just not that good. I mean, it's good, but it ain't that good. Guess what? Eh, it plummeted. It lost like 50, 40% of its value since I said that. Uh, Atomist. All seeing is our last pack. All right. No foil mythic, but uh, that was expected. Well, we just don't ever seem to pull them. I think I pulled two and maybe one, and that was in the very beginning uh, when I first started cracking them. I think we only pulled one. I don't know. It's hard to say. Anyway, Muyan Ling, Yaruk, Kaikar, and a Johnny. Were the mythics in here? Nothing too cray cray. I thought we had a. Uh... Oh, we had another one, didn't we? No, just four. All right, we'll take it. Appreciate you guys tuning in. Punch the like button on the way out. Man, skadoosh yourself. Thank you very much.